Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today let's talk about shared shared parameter again. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Um, first, I'm going to create a project. Okay, so if you haven't used shared parameter before, so you will need to go to um, manage and click on shared parameter and you will need to create create a new txt file to st to store all your um, parameters so here i'm going to just cl click create and i'll just create a new txt file okay so save and you will see there's nothing in this uh, file so we need to create a new group so for example new group 01 and then we will be able to create new parameters under this group but for now I'm just going to click OK and go um, we just let's just create some family first okay so first we're going to create a generic model okay and in this generic model I'm going to um, add a, a text parameter so new new parameter and then uh, I'm going to just create a family parameter first okay so I'll show you a difference between family and shared okay so tag I'll call it text 01 and change this type to text and instance and okay so now if I click OK and then I'll just create a, a block in the middle and then that's the family okay so now let's load this into the project and place it maybe some of them a couple four five five of this family okay so now if I click one of the family so you will see this is the instance parameter we add we add it into this family and we can just type in some text different text because they are instant um, instant parameter just like um, like dot 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 mark or the mark of the dot dot family so see mark it's the same and now if i if if i wanted to create a schedule of so because this is generic model a uh, category so i'll create a generic model schedule and then uh, i can't find the text 01 parameter here okay so it is because um, that that parameter is a family parameter it's not a shared parameter so what we need to do is go edit family to go to family type and here select this parameter and edit parameter so now we, we need to pick uh, change this from family parameter to shared parameter and select okay and then so um, we're going to because there's nothing here so we're going to edit and create a new parameter so I'll use the same text here okay so text01 and also change the type to text and okay and okay and okay and okay and okay so now if I load this into the project and it looks like um, nothing changed see it's it's all there oh actually we lost uh, we lost all the text we type typed because they are actually different parameter okay so that's fine um, now if we go to um, cre let's create a schedule generic model okay so now we will be able to find this parameter because it's a shared parameter okay so yeah the project so share between the um, so see now we can we can have this uh, schedule and if I type in something here and go back to the schedule so you will see here okay so the first one I'm going to just type it here um, now let's make choose a big text so the first one is shared 
um, parameters between shared parameter between families and project okay so this is first use so now the second one uh, let's edit this family so this is family 4 okay so family 4 and I'm going to just save as family 4a okay and load this into the project so I'll place some of them okay so now this is pro uh, family 4 and these are family 4a and they are they are actually exactly the same they 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 use the um, so the blocks the same they use the same shared parameter uh, and if I go to generic model so you will see these are the two file two file two family sorry two family and two type so yeah they are basically exactly the same and actually because we we already changed the so in the last you know la the last one we changed the family parameter to shared parameter so which means if I select these two family although they are different we will have this text 01 which is a shared parameter here so we, we will be able to select all of them so for example I'll select um, one two three four of them they are actually different so so you can see multiple family selected we selected two type of family but we still have this shared parameter so we let's call it uh, SSS and then so you will if you go to generic model schedule you will see so these are those four uh, family so um, this time actually I reversed um, and try to explain um, to you the difference between uh, using shared parameter and family parameter so now if I edit this family if I reverse this back okay so I'll edit this shared parameter back to family parameter and okay and okay and I load this back into the project and also I'll edit this one family full a go to family types edit this parameter from shared parameter to family parameter and OK and OK and load this back into the project so now if I select two so one of each family so you can see multiple family selected they are different and this time there's no parameters here so if I select one of them so you will see this a text or one which is a family parameter it's not a shared parameter so if I select five they are in under one they are the same family so we, we can see this one but as as soon as I select another one which is not this same type the parameter disappear so see this one still this text 01 which is family parameter and if I select this all together still see this text 01 but if as soon as I select another one from this family it's gone because they, they this text 01 although they are exactly the same the name of the parameter exactly the same but they are actually different so to make them uh, exactly the same we need to use shared parameter just we need to reverse back to uh, so when, when when we first start to talking about this so this is actually this is second the second one uh, I'm going to talk today so shared parameter between different families okay so now um three so i'm going to talk about the the third topic today oh, sorry the third, third topic i'm going to talk about today is shared parameter um, between 
families and tags. Okay, so now uh, let me just change this to back to back to the share parameter. Sorry, edit family. Go here, edit this parameter. Check this share parameter. Select select this share parameter. Okay, okay, okay. Load back into the project. Same. Select this one. Edit and go to family types. Edit this parameter. Change this to share. Select select this one. Okay, okay, okay. Load this into the project. So now these two family, two different families share one shared parameter so here okay so now if i want to create a tag to tag both family so we can go we can go so new family so annotation um i think generic tag okay so because this is a generic model so open and I'll delete this text and also if you want to change sorry not this one family uh, category and parameters so if we want to change the tag uh, category you can just change it here okay just, just pick the one you you need and then click OK so now the next step is create a label okay so label and also you will be able to edit adjust the size the type the, the style of this the text so just go here and for example I'll change the text size and then click OK once down you can just so see this uh, little A with a little table uh, thing just move to roughly in the center and then click it and then you will be able to add the the parameter you want to use but here you will see there's nothing no the text or one parameter because uh, that's a, a shared parameter so what we need to do is we need to click here okay and you will notice that that the shared parameter is the only option so which means we can't tag uh, just a, ta a family parameter we can't tag a family parameter. We need to tag a shared parameter instead, or all these default um, uh, system parameter maybe. <laughs> okay, so yep, so only option shared parameter. So select, and then we will be able to select this text or one parameter. And okay, okay, and then click this one. Okay, and also you can add some extra. So for example, um. Uh, you can just add depending on what, what the parameter is you can add something there okay so okay so now that's it's done so we can load this into the project and before that you can have a look of the tag so go to um, under I think just type ta type tg tag tg and you will see this one so loaded tags so click on this one and you can see all the tags you uh, already load in this project okay so and so for example um, the generic model here so this is the tag we just uh, created so which means if I tap if I if I type tg this family this family 5 which is a tag will be the the default one okay so let's see you can tag them i'll tag one i'll tag two of them so one here and one here and then you have the option so if you want to change the tag so you can click on here and click on here again and then you can type so for example aaa and now if you select this family so you will see the AAA goes to here the same let's try this one so select and click it again BBB and then select this here 
So it's just like um, so we all do a window tag and door tag. We know that's how this works, right? And also, of course, you can tag all. So tag all and pick the generic model tag. Okay, and okay. See, it's all there. And also, you can uh, you can change the you can change the let's use wt wt. You can change all the the um, this parameter. Sorry, let's select this family. You can change all these uh, parameter in here if you want to. So, so for example, topping C D C D D D F F F something like that. Okay. So that's that's it. Um, today we talked about shared parameter and how to use shared parameter. So we can, so the first one is we can create some uh, schedule to uh, um, for, for the shared parameter in the family. Okay, so the second one is we can use different family but they share the same parameter. Okay, so imagine you have, a, this might be useful, so um, imagine you have a a casework or a cabinet family is with a, a certain parameter, so for example, the material. Okay, and if you change to a different family, so for example, you, the previous one, the the, the uh, previous one is a uh, uh, the mm, a three drawer cabinet, three drawer. Okay, and you change to a uh, two drawers. And if you use shared parameter, so you can keep the material. You can keep material. Okay, so um, the last one is you can use shared parameter to uh, and place them into a tag, and then you can tag that shared parameter in this family. Okay, so um, I think that's it. Um, do you have any questions? Please let me know if you have, you know, um, any suggestions, any idea, any questions. Okay. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.